Hello and welcome to the New Zealand Esports Racing Series. We are back and it is the 16th of November and we are here in Wellington at the Respawn Esports Centre. It is time for the live finals and we have our competitors in the other room. We're here in the commentary box. We are ready to go racing today with a qualifying, a sprint and a feature race and the winner of all of that will have the most championship points and they will be ho taking home the grand prize today of course provided by Toyota Kazoo Racing New Zealand. We'll talk about that prize very very soon amongst others. In the commentary and broadcasting booth today you have myself George Cook and Nathan Howe. Nathan you've travelled all the way down here. We're all set up and ready to go finally after a month gap since the online season which was six rounds long now it all comes down to this yeah this has been a massively anticipated live final event like you say we're here in the heart of wellington in the cbd what an awesome place to host a live final event and uh you know you, you sort of mentioned it yourself heck of a prize on offer to a fully funded test drive in a toyota 86 cup car current spec racing car too not just some old yeah they had it in the back a proper current toyota gt86 race car that's a pretty, as far as prizes go, that's that's pretty up there. It's pretty up there, and of course we have prizes for the second and third places as well. They'll be provided by Next Level Racing, and in fact we've got some graphics to show people what they're in for, so let's take a quick look, and we'll be right back. Awesome prizes up for grabs. Second place will get that GT cockpit. And then third place will be getting the set of haptics. Haptics are super, super cool. So really excited about all the prizes. But it's the grand prize that is what is everyone trying to get today. It is a big, big, big prize. We have, of course, our drivers. We'll go through them very, very soon. But a key note here, we do have a few that haven't been able to make it. It is really unfortunate. Sometimes the logistics doesn't work out. And in the case of Gareth Collier, unfortunately, his flight was cancelled so it's a real real shame not to see gareth here today and there's a number of others that didn't make it into the top 10 you had to be in that top 10 with the driver points across the online season six rounds of racing if you didn't get into that top 10 you didn't have a shot but with a few people who weren't able to make it there's a couple of slots that opened up yeah, we saw plenty of moving and shaking through the uh, the online season, didn't we? And of course, with the floating division, 